what is up youtube sorry for the shaky camera doing this on my phone while i'm sitting in the truck because it's windy as i'll get out outside and my kids are in the house uh and they're awake so there is no video in the house this is a rant video about the Benchmade military discount on Benchmade.com. For years, years, the when when you put whatever you wanted from Benchmade.com into your cart, and you selected view and edit cart, there were four buttons on the top left of that screen. And it was for government employees. It had a button for military, which you could also do it if you were a veteran. You didn't just have to be active duty, reservist. You could, you could also be a veteran. Click on that. It had a link for nurses. And it had a link for first responders. When you clicked on one of those, it sent you to ID me. When you first did it, you had to verify that you were one of these individuals. And then once you verified it, it sent you back to the Benchmade site. And then, then every time after that, that you wanted the 30% discount from Benchmade, um, you just clicked one of those buttons, you logged into ID me and it sent you right back to Benchmade and gave you your 30% off. It was the best way to buy a Benchmade bar none with one exception until two weeks ago. So that 30% discount made their custom shop worth buying a custom knife it made buying any other knife you wanted to buy because it was 30 percent off retail or excuse me it was 30 percent off msrp which dropped it below retail a good way below retail so if you were looking for a good bench made knife it was the way to go two weeks ago and today is May the 16th of 2021. Two weeks ago, they decided to drop that 30% discount to 15%. So when, and I was about to buy some bitch made knives and I, I did the whole ID me thing. And then I noticed, Hey, this ain't 30%. So I did the math, figured out it was 15%. Called Benchmate. Very nice young lady answered the phone. And she explained that um, what Benchmate found is they were undercutting some of their vendors who offered pretty good discounts for military, law enforcement, and so on. So they decided to take that 30% discount and cut it down to 15%. They didn't advertise it anywhere. They didn't tell anybody. They just did it. To which I said, okay, y'all just made it so that I will never buy another knife off benchmade.com because it is it's no longer worth it and hung up the phone 30 minutes later my phone rings i answer it and it was a benchmade guy by the name of chris earhart he said that he was listening in to my phone call because my phone call was recorded and was immediately troubled with how the phone call went. 
and how quickly I got upset. He apologized to me for not putting it out anywhere that they are dropping their discount from 30% to 15%. And said the same thing, that they, they were kind of undercutting their, their discount for some of their under, other vendors. And that right now, the only discount that is offered on Benchmade.com is that for the military veteran, military and veterans, and the first responders, the nurses, and the government employees. They don't offer a discount to anybody else. But since they have never advertised that discount, they thought they could just cut it down to 15%. And it wouldn't be a big deal. They didn't need to tell anybody. They didn't need to say anything. Whatever. He assured me that 15% off MSRP was retail. And I got on several sites. And I... We'll, we'll go over this in a little bit. But I, I, I looked at the Benchmade 940 to check and make sure that 15% off was indeed retail. He's, he then said he would send me an email explaining what Benchmade, why Benchmade did this. And he would give me several websites where you can log on and get your military first responder whatever discount. I do not know if any of these websites offer discounts to nurses, and I do not know if they offer discounts to government employees. They do, however, offer discounts to military and veterans. So the email says, the email he sent me, Hi, Alan. Thank you for taking the time to speak with me today about the change to the military discount. I appreciate your feedback and will be including your comments when sharing how our customers feel about the change. We recently adjusted the ID Me discount on Benchmade.com to 15% from 30%. This was made for a few reasons. First, we wanted to be in line with our dealer network pricing. We have many dealers who support military, law enforcement, and first responders and choose not to compete with them on price. We also are firm believers of supporting local businesses by encouraging customers to visit their local dealers to see what they are able to offer. We continue to support those who serve by providing an exclusive discount through IDME. It is currently the only active discount we have available for any customer shopping through Benchmade.com. We also support authorized Benchmade dealers nationwide. Below are a few of our dealers that carry a wide range of our products and may have different pricing than Benchmade.com. You have the option of contacting them to see what pricing programs to see what pricing or programs they have available. Two of these websites I use. The first one is GovX, www.govx.com. They verify that you are indeed military or a first responder. I think they used IDME. I don't remember. It's been so long since I signed up. I, I really couldn't tell you. Um, okay, so on Benchmade.com, the MSRP for the 940 is $225. With the 15% discount, 
it takes it down to $191.25 for the 940-1. The MSRP is $320. With the 15% discount, it takes it down to $272. I then checked Smoky Mountain Knife Works. That discounted price on bitchmade.com is the same price on Smoky Mountain Knifeworks, right? $191.25 and $272. I then check Blade HQ. Again, same price. $191.25 for the regular 940, $272 for the 940-1. I went to GovX. The cool thing about GovX is once you log in, they show you exactly how much the product is discounted from MSRP. So the 940, they have listed at $163.99. That is a 27% discount. It's not as cheap as Benchmade's 30% discount that they were offering but you're still getting a significant price drop, right? You're paying less than everybody else. The 940-1 was $235.99, which come to a 26% discount. Again, not as low as it would have been on the Benchmade.com site with the 30% discount, right? It's still a little bit more. And then I got on to shopmyexchange.com. This is the AFI site, okay? Uh, the canteen or whatever you want to call it for for the military, right? It's, it's the military store. They, you don't pay any taxes and you usually don't have to pay shipping. Usually. I looked up the 940 on shopmyexchange.com, which is only offered to military reservists and veterans. Okay. First responders can't get on this website. The 940 was $149. The 940-1 does not exist on their site. They don't offer it, right? So shopmyexchange.com is the best place to buy the regular 940. Here's my thing. If Benchmade wanted to cut their discount from 30%, to 15%, they should have said something. Instead of kind of sweeping it under the rug and thinking nobody's going to notice, it's not a big deal. It's a big freaking deal, right? Benchmade has made some very political decisions that I don't really agree with. And it's all happened within the last two years, right? They are a knife company. And the first thing that I don't agree with is they, they made several political contributions, money contributions to some democratic, um, some, some people in democratic party, right? Who said that if they get elected, they'll do everything they can to change the idiotic knife laws that are around in certain states, right? Like not being able to own or carry a automatic knife or switchblade or whatever out the front or whatever you want to call it, right? They, they, they want to try to get rid of some of these laws. The, some, some places where they have, you can't have a blade over three inches, right? They, they want to, they want to do away with that, 
right? Benchmade is a knife company. They want better knife laws. So they're paying people who will say that they will change these knife laws. One of these guys that they gave money to was extremely anti-Second Amendment. He wants to abolish the Second Amendment completely. He believes that the only people who should have firearms are police officers and military. And that's it. No one else should own a gun, period, of any shape, form, size, or whatever. Benchman is a knife company. This guy wants to change the knife laws. They're not a gun company. So what this guy wants to do wouldn't affect Benchmade at all, right? Okay. Most, I'm, I'm going to say probably 80% of people who like Benchmade knives own Benchmade knives or maybe want to own a Benchmade knife in the future support the Second Amendment. So you are, by supporting this guy, you are completely alienating a large portion of your um, fan base, right? And a lot of people are going to be upset about it. Now, I have talked to a couple of companies when that all happened that said that when when all that became public... I talked to a large portion of, I uh, talked to a couple of companies who said that that did not affect their Benchmade sales at all. Wasn't a factor. People were still buying them at the same rate, still spending the same money. Okay. The second thing they did, and I actually, I, I approve of this, but it, when it became public, it was a big deal too. They were giving police officers space and in their manufacturing facility where they could destroy evidence guns. Now, a lot of people took issue with this because they thought that evidence guns could be resold to someone on the market who was not a criminal, right? But that has never been the case. Evidence guns, once they are taken into evidence, if the person that the gun was taken away from was found not guilty and right. He did the right thing, right? Then he usually gets that weapon back. But if it is a criminal and it was used in a, it was used, if that weapon was used criminally somehow, right? That weapon is always, always destroyed, right? They destroy it. I don't care what state you live in. That's what they do. Guns that were used to commit a crime are destroyed. That's just the way it is. They don't go, they don't sell them to anybody or nothing. I'm sure maybe a few bad cops have figured out how to get those guns home with them. Whatever. I don't care. But they, they do not go back on the market. I'm okay with that because that's the way it's always been. Guns have been committed in a crime. I don't want a gun associated with a crime. I don't. I don't ever want a gun that was associated with a crime in my possession. Destroy it. I'm fine with that, right? But people made a big stink out of it, right? And Benchmade has said they will no longer give their local... Uh, police station support in the in destroying these guns, which I I don't agree with. I think it was cool that they were letting them do this, giving them a safe spot, a safe place to destroy these guns. Right? I think that that was okay. I'm okay with that. Right? And I, I'm gonna catch heat saying that, and then you're gonna see these people in the comments just try to light me up. Whatever, I don't care. It's my opinion. You don't like it. I don't care, right? But the one thing that I do care about 
is Benchmade cutting their 30% discount to 15% and not saying a word about it. I firmly believe that before they did that, like, they should have sent out a survey, right? If we do this, is it going to make you angry, right? Or is it, how do you feel about us cutting the military discount? The, you know, a lot, a lot of these places that they gave me on this email, nurses and, um, nurses and government employees don't have access to, right? Um, Provingo was another website. Um, uspatriottactical.com. Um, I've never heard of that one either. Um, toptiertech.com. Uh, tacticalproshop.com, tacticalwearonline.com, riversedgecutlery.com, right? Most of these sites I haven't been on and I, I haven't used. So, su summarize, right? Because this video is already 21 and a half minutes long. I do not think that if you are a, if you are in the military or you are a veteran, if you are a nurse or if you are a government employee, do not buy any knife at all on the bitchmade.com site. Don't buy a custom knife. Don't, don't buy anything at all on benchmade.com. Go to, if you're a regular civilian, go to Smoking Net Mountain Knife Works. Go to Blade HQ. Go to Knife Works. Go to whoever you want to go to, right? Shop around. Try to find the best deal. If you are in the military, you are a reservist, or you are a veteran, or you are a police officer, go to GovX right? They usually, they're usually 20 to 30% off on bench mates and all most of the things that they sell. It's a great deal. Shipping kind of sucks sometimes, right? So you'll order a knife and sometimes it'll take two to three weeks for it to come in. Whatever. I promise you it's worth the wait for the amount of money you're going to pay on GovX. It's awesome. Now, on GovX, they may not have the exact color you are looking for in a certain knife, right? So, like the 940. They got the regular 940, but they have it in a satin blade. They don't have this black bladed version. They've got the satin blade. Okay. Uh, you really want the black blade... Go somewhere out, uh, you know, pay retail for it. If you want to go, don't go to Benchman.com. Go to Blade HQ, Smoking Out Now Forks, Knife Forks, whatever, wherever you want to go to um, and, and get that knife. If you are, if you have ever served in the military, you're in the military now, you are a veteran, whatever, Go to Shop My Exchange and get a fantastic discount. Um, $149 for a 940 is an awesome price. And I promise you, it is a real 940. You don't have to worry about it being a fake like you do on eBay or Amazon or anywhere else, right? Those, those are two places where I refuse to buy a knife because there's way too many instances of people getting a fake, right? Is eBay and Amazon. So don't go there. Go to, go to one of these other places. If you want to check, check out some of these, some of these other websites that, uh, that I mentioned, 
go check them out. You know, they maybe they'll offer a discount for a nurse. Maybe they'll offer a discount for a government employee, right? I, I don't know. Maybe you can get a better discount for uh, being a first responder, right? Uh, police, fire, anything like that, right? Paramedic, whatever. You know, you you never know. You might you might work. Um, but yeah, that's that's my very long winded rant. Public service announcement: Do not buy a knife, any knife on Benchmade.com until they come out with an apology and give us our 30% back. Don't do it. It's not worth it. It this this never even should have been a thing, right? Uh the Cutting a veteran, uh, cut cutting a government employee first responder discount in half should have never even entered anybody's mind, right? Why? Right? Because you're gonna make the same amount of money on the knife if if I buy this knife on GovX. Benchmade's going to make the same amount of money on it, right? The only person who's not making as much money on it is GovX. AFES. Benchmade's going to make the same amount of money on that knife, right? The only pers- the only people who aren't going to make as much money on that knife is AFES. ShopMyExchange.com. They're the only ones that's not really making much money on it. Benchmade's making the same amount of money on it. Right? So why if you're gonna make the same amount of money on that knife with me buying it at these places, why can't I buy it direct from the source? You see what I'm saying? Actually though Benchmade will be making a little bit more profit on it because we're they're, they're making the profit that these other stores would have been making. Right? So, it's idiotic. Why the hell would you ever, why the hell would you ever consider cutting a military, veteran, first responder discount? I mean, that, that, that just says, Pretty much, you could give a shit less about that community. You don't want to serve that community. You're happy for that community to go elsewhere to maybe not find the exact same, the exact thing they're looking for, but you don't give a shit. Right? You don't want to serve that. You you don't care that they don't want to shop with you anymore. Go somewhere else. Let someone else de- deal with it, right? We don't want to deal with it anymore. That's what they're saying. So, I don't know. Leave your thoughts down in the in the comments. L- let me know what you think. I mean, am I off on this? Because uh, I'm sorry, but this shit, when a company does this, pisses me off. Like, to no end. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Talk to you later. Thanks for watching. If you stuck to the end. Bye.